Hey, Balance Nation. It's Dr. Anthony G. Beck again, and I just finished up with a little bit of a honeydew list outside um, here in sunny Florida. And I wanted to jump on here real quick to make a very um, get to the point, down and dirty, short and sweet uh, video for you guys. So that way you can share this with everyone in the midst of all this coronavirus hysteria slash hoax. Now you guys know I've done other videos uh, when it comes to uh, talking about coronavirus, uh, my thoughts on it and things of that nature. If you want to go back and review those, you can go over to youtube.com forward slash balance protocol. Um, the thing about this is, is I want to make this a very short video so that way people with that in attention span that's very short um, usually can't hang out for my normal 30, 45 minute videos and answering questions and comments at the end. Okay, guys, so what I want to do is let you know that this is this right here is the most important uh, coronavirus video that I have made yet to date. Uh, and the reason is, is because I've been trying to comfort uh, all of you guys within the, the reach of my voice. So that way you don't buy into this hysteria. We're seeing people behave in absolutely ridiculous behaviors, going and buying stuff like toilet paper that they don't even need. It's the most ridiculous thing in the world. I've also reviewed with you the stats of coronavirus COVID-19 as pertains to other pandemics that were flus, um, which is very important for you to understand the compare and contrast because we always want to compare uh, effects of things so we can truly understand the outcome and the impact that it has on us, our lives, and the economy. Because what you're going to be seeing here um, is a, uh, a grab for power by governments because of this hysteria. When the people start acting stupid, governments think they need to kick in, call the National Guard, and start uh, robbing and stealing uh, your freedoms all on the auspices of care. So having said that, remember, I just want you guys to understand that at the end of this video, I'm going to give my entire long uh, legal disclosure for you guys to read. Please take that to heart and understand that this is my pure opinion and it's not uh, to be held as medical advice. And what you should do is, is seek the opinion of your primary care physicians and care providers, even if it is in contradiction to the things of opinion that I'm going to share with you in this video. Okay, so today as of March 14th, I still have tremendous comfort about this silly and ridiculous coronavirus ridiculousness, okay? So um, what we've got here is uh, I've, I've already reviewed with you guys several things when it comes to um, some science and so forth, and I'm going to get back to that again. But here, uh, I'm going to kind of give you the update. So we've got supposedly 149,000 confirmed cases uh, across the planet. Um, only 5,600 deaths, and uh, over half of them have recovered, 72,000. Okay, why is that important? Because those numbers are small. They're very, very small. And everybody is out there talking about it's underreported and things of that nature. Well, that's not true um, for various reasons. But aside from just that being my opinion, what I'm going to show you is why these numbers are overreported because they're using a particular test, uh, which they stick a, a cotton swab up your nose, swab it, try to grab some type of a protein uh, DNA to this supposed um, uh, purified protein that matches the COVID-19 and then you send it off to the lab and they do a little fancy test, a little PCR, polymerase chain reaction, which is known and riddled with all kinds of shortcomings and stuff like that. So in fact, on that note, to keep this punchy, here's what I'm going to do is they know that for a fact. Here's the scientific literature. So you want to make sure we keep this science based, quote unquote, okay? Potential false positive, okay? Rate among asymptomatic infected individuals in close contacts of COVID-19 patients, okay? You guys can go and look this up for yourself. You just put in this title um, in the uh, PubMed uh, NIH database and it'll come up, okay? You just see that on the video, pause the video, go look it up. Okay. The objective is as a prevention and control for COVID-19 continues to advance, an active nucleic uh, acid test screening in close contacts of the patients who have been carried out in many parts of China. However, false positive rate uh, of positive results in the screening has not yet been reported up until now. Okay, so basically they talk about all this kind of stuff, the results get down to business. When the effect, infection rate of, of the close contacts and the sensitivity and specificity of reported results were taken as the point estimates, the positive prediction value of the active screening was only 19.67%. Oh my gosh. In contrast, the false positive rate of positive results was 80%. Okay, the test is silly. 
So then now they're going to make even more people have it available. All this because of political posturing to that make they make sure that this is all in the United States. I think it's going to happen in other, word, other countries, but I am in the United States of America. And so um, there is uh, always been an active approach to go after the president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. OK, and this is one of those emergencies and situations that will not get left unleveraged. So the bottom line here is, is the government has to respond based upon the hysteria for political reasons, not for medical prudence. That's the way this stuff works, guys. OK, it's very political. So when they start talking about drive up nose swabbings, that is preposterous. What you should do instead is drive to the beach, drive to the lake. This social distancing thing is pathetic. What you should be doing is, is playing with your friends, your family, your community out in the sunshine and getting fresh air. And I'm going to show you the science that backs and proves that's the correct thing to do in this particular case. Again, for medical disclosure, this is of my professional opinion. Yes, I am a you know, uh, four, four board certified physician with 26 years experience in um, uh, the clinic, okay? Tens of thousands of patients. However, you still are the boss. Doctors work for you. We don't tell you what to do. We work for you and that's the litmus that you should have. Any caregiver, it's ultimately your things. Don't give up your freedoms in the absence of knowing knowledge. And again, don't just believe me because I'm you know, being passionate and things like that. I want you to take these resources. I want you to look them up for yourself, formulate your own opinion, even if it scoffs in the face of what you're being fed in the narrative in the media, okay? So <clears throat> down and dirty here, the multivariant uh, probablastic sensitivity analysis results supported the base, the base case findings with a 75% probability for the false positive rate of positive results over 47%. The conclusions in the close contact of COVID-19 patients, nearly half or even more of the asymptomatic infected individuals reported in the active nucleic acid test screened might be false positives. Okay. So what does this tell us? Don't go running to get tested. Okay. You can have fatigue and um, uh, you know, uh, irritability and breathing problems uh, and uh, malaise and all kinds of things that results uh, that are results of a microbial infection just from your mind watching the daggum boob tube. Don't be doing these silly tests. They're errored, okay? If you have symptoms, do like you know you grow up doing. You stay at home and rest and sleep. If you start to have a little something, get out in the sunshine and fresh air. If you don't overcome it, then you rest. Maintain hydration. Get up and move. Don't let your lungs get stagnant laying in the bed. So literally these, these things that you're being told are the absolute opposite that you need to be doing, okay? When you're laying down and resting for too long, you know, your, your respiratory rate starts to change and fluid builds up and things, and all my things get worse, okay? What you don't want to do is just go running into some medical center or some hospital with a whole bunch of other sick people from a whole bunch of other things, and it's miserable under artificial light, right? That's messing up your circadian rhythm. I'm going to show you why that's a point here in just a second. It's just the opposite, okay? Everyone needs to just realize that this is not what it's being promoted to be. They're not going to see this stuff. It'll be gone by May. It'll be over by May. Okay, so keeping with my promise to show you, I'm going to keep this nice and short, okay? Let me just show you something here real quick, okay? So um, let's take a review of the literature. All right. The first thing, guys, is I showed you this was in another video. This is the information given out to physicians when it comes to this particular test. Anyways, all the ways to handle it, how it's done, how it's performed, everything like that. It's intended use. OK, really, really important for you guys to understand the results of this presumptive identification. See, it says it right there. Presumptive identification in the second paragraph. Okay, is generally detectable in upper and lower respiratory specimens. Positive results are indicative of an active infection, but do not rule out bacterial infection or co-infection with other viruses. So again, the test itself is known to be flawed terribly, okay? In the literature, okay, we know that an open air treatment of pandemic influenza is the way to go. They go back and they talk about what they used to do during the other pandemics, okay? You can just search the literature for this topic right here and you'll be able to, to find out that, okay? This is what I have recommended per balance protocol tenants 101 is air, water, light, sound, EMF, and food is your principal place that you go to to set up your health. 
You don't need pills, potions, and powders. You don't need to be doing all these things like other people showing out there, popping monolaurin and drinking mushrooms and taking, you know, silver and all these other kind of fun things. Okay. They have their place clinically, but they also have a potential downside and detriment to actually compromise your immune system. Okay. So back to the science, like I promised, we know that there's overcrowding and mortality during influenza pandemics. Okay. This is a study of that back from um, what happened back in 1918. Okay, this was actually published in 2016, so it's not old because they were seeking to understand things like that. You don't want to go into medical facilities and start overcrowding and sticking people in there. Okay, the next thing is we have looked at over 100 years of medical countermeasures for pandemic influenza preparedness. We know what's up. Okay, the bottom line is, is the people who are dying, remember it's only about 6,000 so far around the world. Okay. Uh, the flu says, hold my beer, who normally has 60,000 a year with 61 million cases. We're not even close to those numbers. We're not even going to get remotely close to those numbers. I'm doubling and tripling down on that. Watch. But the thing about it is, is what you do is, is all the things that I've already talked about. Okay. So the other thing, more science here for you. Okay. Microbes also in the area of circadian medicine. So here's the thing. Look at this. Organisms of most domains of life have adapted circadian changes in the environment and regulate their behavior and uh, physiology accordingly. Okay. So you can go and look this up. Okay. The bottom line is, is this particular study confirms, and this was just here in February of 2020. Okay, the review, what I want you to understand is, is that circadian rhythm has a lot to do with everything. What is circadian rhythm? Well, it has to do with light cycles. Get in the sunshine, get off of these digital devices. Stop putting that artificial um, spectrum on your skin and in your eyeballs. It immunocompromises you. Imagine this, you stay in a room, okay, with low circulation, dry air, no sunshine, staring at an idiot box, putting out artificial light spectrum and freaking you out about a stupid pandemic. What does that do? Compromises your immune system. If you think you can drink mushrooms and take monolaurin and, and, and oregano and all this other crap people are selling these days to fight that, you're out of your mind. It's not going to happen. Okay, next science. Okay, we know the roles of sunlight and natural ventilation for controlling infection. There are historical and current perspectives. Okay, this was uh, um, a great read. Uh, this is in 2013. Okay. Um, the bottom line is, is you don't want to be going into buildings. Okay. So I get, and I kind of support people if they don't want to go into work and use that other kind of fun stuff, <laughs> but it's just, um, you, it, it's, it's not quite linear like that. Okay. Let's look at some more science. Okay. Then we talk about vitamin D and influenza. Is it prevention or therapy? Well, guess what? It's both. That does not mean start popping vitamin D pills. Okay. There's a lot of people out there that start doing that. The sunshine is free. If you can't get sunshine for free, then you need to build a UV light. I've taught people how to do that. Okay. If you want to know how to uh, build your UV light, come over to facebook.com forward slash programs for, uh, excuse me, forward slash groups, forward slash balance nation. Okay. So that's facebook.com forward slash groups, forward slash balance nation. And I've got all that in there for you guys. And I'm also going to post all of this science in there. So that way you guys can have this in review. Okay. It'll give you something to read and uh, expand your mind while you're uh, taking these lovely little vacations because of this silly hoax. Okay. So the bottom line is, is we also know, okay that there's an influence of simulated sunlight and the inactivation of influenza virus in aerosols. Okay, so what is simulated sunlight? That's that UV lamp that I teach you how to build. Okay, I do a lot of that kind of fun stuff um, in uh, the programs that I built. Um, I'm going to do a little sh a shameless plug. This message is brought to you by moi. Programs.balanceprotocol.com. You can take the BP Prime program for free to understand more about my method. And you can uh, invest in the Balance Protocol Enviro, which teaches you about air, water, light, sound, EMF, and food, and all the things that have to do with that. Okay? So, anyways, that was my quick little thing to reveal to you guys. That's a walk through the science. There's plenty to substantiate the recommendations that I've been making to you when it comes to moving, sunshine, air, mindset, joy community connection. Stop freaking out. Stop hoarding stuff and going to stores and acting a fool and stressing out and listen to all these silly things. Okay. Here in the United States, 
um, we have um, uh, some very small cases, okay? If you guys want, you can go over to Johns Hopkins University um, and track their corona tracker there. This is the one that I'm using every day. In the United States, we've had 2,400 cases, and they're saying confirmed. Remember, I don't. they're using that test. I just showed you that was flawed. So 70 to 80% of that can be wrong. Holy crap, guys. You've got to understand this is the deal. And even if this does, I don't care if this starts getting up into the tens of thousands, okay? It's not even going to come close to what we see in the flu, which medical centers and professionals already know how to deal with, okay? There's only been 47 deaths. And again, I only say only. I don't scoff at the loss of life. But the bottom line is it does not match what we see happening in our government's and the ruses that are coming out of that to take away your freedom and to justify drugs and vaccines that, that are poisonous to people that are not proven safe and effective. All right. So that's a summary. Share this with everybody that you can know that it's having joy. I'm probably going to go uh, dark for a couple of days because I have doctors from all around the world coming to train with me this week. Hopefully their, their planes aren't canceled. And uh, so they're going to have some intensive stuff uh, training in my preceptorship program. So you probably won't uh, see me online. So I'm going to take a little vacaciones from digital stuff anyways. Okay. But you guys, I will check in a little bit on Balance Nation. So that's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Balance Nation. And if you're in Balance Nation already, I love you. I appreciate you. And invite anybody and everybody you can on your friends list in here so they can come and watch these videos and get the comfort that and knowledge that they need. All right, guys. Love you bunches. <laughs>